Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for December 9th through the 15th. We're going to pull cards for you with this angel deck here. We're con uh, continuing with our little holiday theme. And we're going to pull an angel message for you from this oracle deck here. We do have a full moon coming up for you on the... Um, well, not just for you, <laughs> but for everybody on the 12th. And it might pack a bit of a punch, like the, a lot of the moon energies we've been experiencing lately. So that's why I want to pull an angel message for you this week. But we're going to see what's happening for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, my darlings. Your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm, I'm using playing cards again this week like I did last week. You've got five of diamonds coming up here for your Monday, Tuesday. Um, I'm using it because uh, I could not find any holiday uh, tarot decks or oracle decks that uh, really spoke to me. So here we are with your little Christmas angel for five of pentacles coming up or five of diamonds. Five of diamonds, which would be five of pentacles coming up for your Monday, Tuesday. This doesn't surprise me, Sagittarius, but what it does tell me is this. You all are going to be feeling that full moon energy super intensely okay now those of you who watch my videos you've heard me say those of us who are sensitive to moon energy will start feeling it about three days before the full moon comes in the full moon's coming in on the 12th and on the 9th you are in this five of diamonds mode or five of pentacles mode now this full moon in Gemini is going to be causing a lot of people to kind of panic a little bit about where their relationships are at and where their finances are at. And the fact that your energy is showing up with this five of diamonds, it tells me that you're really focusing and you're thinking about your future financially. So maybe you've made a decision to either focus on career and you're not focusing too much on love right now, or you feel like you can't rely on your partner financially and you're trying to, you know, uh, take take the lead in financial situations or you're done with a relationship and you want to leave. But you're like, man, if I'm going to leave, I got to get my money together. You know, so maybe you've been in the relationship because you felt a little bit trapped financially. Now, I don't want you to panic. I want you to remind yourself that your feelings might be kind of intense and kind of panicky because of that full moon energy and that you're going to be able to make a plan. You have this beautiful angel here watching over you, you know, guarding over you. It's going to help you, you know, with your plans moving forward. Also with five of diamonds or five of pentacles, you guys might have heard me say in the past where you're going to go through a time where or you're going to begin a journey where it's going to be very much like the Wizard of Oz. Like right? Dorothy was looking for guidance. She didn't know where she was going. She felt kind of lost. She was wandering through. And on that journey, she made some amazing friends. She, made, she met an amazing little soul family. And they got through it together. And they were able to help each other. So even though things feel uncertain... When Five of Pentacles comes up, it lets us know we're coming into a journey where we're going to have an opportunity to really come into soul family and to find like-minded people and to have a bit of an adventure and find out who our true friends are and to experience kindness from others. So even though it feels uncertain, there's beauty that comes out of it right? And it's something temporary. It's not going to last forever. So even though it's transitory, there will be blessings that come out of it. A lot of the times when Five of Pentacles comes up, it's like the universe is teaching you that you are loved, that you are lovable, and that you are not defined by how much money that you have. And as you're working to better yourself and better your circumstances, you're going to meet people in that journey who are also on that same path. And you're going to make some true blue friends here. You're going to uh, establish some strong connections here okay so i'm gonna be honest with you i feel this five of pentacles for you might kind of be because you're worried about the situation with a relationship or where your future is going you've got the full moon energy on top of it those of you who celebrate the holidays the holidays are on top of it people get really stressed out around money around the holidays and it's the end of the year so every and you guys just had a birthday or you're like in in, in your birthday season right so you're getting a year old Older, another year is passing by 
and you start getting like, oh my gosh, where's my life going? Where's my life going? So just remind yourself, okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. This is going to be okay. This is a new adventure. This is a new journey. Um, and take whatever your fears are about your finances or whatever your fears are about why things won't get better for you. And that can be something that you can release in your full moon ritual for those of you that do full moon rituals. Now, I really want to start doing uh, full moon releases together on YouTube. Um, and I was really hoping that things would be organized to do it by this full moon, but I, I'm still working on the 2020 forecasts. So, but soon, hopefully, well, not, not hopefully for sure in 2020, um, I will have full moon releases for those of you that like want to release, but you're not sure how, you know, I'll begin to, to post releases and things like that for you all. But, um, you know, maybe look it up, you know, you know, full moon, you know, full moon ritual, full moon for releasing fear. Um, and just, you know, make it your own, just say a special prayer that night, take a sea salt bath, write out your intentions of what you're letting go of, you know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic, but you know, the fact that these big, heavy emotions are coming up, it's a good time to release them. You know, don't let yourself get freaked out by it. Your Wednesday, Thursday, see, this is good. This is really good already. That panic energy is turning around because Wednesday, Thursday, you have six of clubs and six of clubs would be what we know of in traditional tarot as six of um, six of wands. So this is going to be victorious energy. This is like things getting better, th things picking up, things moving along, overcoming an obstacle. Um, it can also be the truth of a situation being revealed. OK, so you may be walking away from a situation feeling vindicated, feeling like you had the last word, feeling like the truth came out. Maybe someone was trying to pull the wool over your eyes about something and you're like, nope, you know, I, I'm overcoming this. I'm overcoming the situation. For some of you, I do feel those of you that have been working really, really hard. Um, there's some good news coming to you, if not this week before the end of the year, uh, where, and which is not very far off, where you are receiving word of a promotion, like something you've been working very hard at. And for some of you, I get a sense where like you had given up on it because either you were given information that made it sound like it wasn't going to happen or they weren't ready for it or you had the impression it was going to go to someone else. But then all of a sudden they're like, oh, hey, guess what? You know, like we're going to be moving you up or we're going to be promoting you. So for some of you Sagittarius, this is coming in by way of a promotion at work. I feel, though, for a lot of you, this has to do with some like, like you're feeling something has been revealed. Some truth has come out. And I don't really get that feeling a lot of the times with six of wands. But in this situation, in this sense, Sagittarius, I do feel there's some kind of a redemption or a validation where if somebody was spreading false rumors about you or somebody was saying you were doing things that you weren't doing or somebody was accusing you of cheating and you weren't cheating, like it's going to come out that you were telling the truth, that you were telling the truth. And there's like this, you know, feeling of vindication or validation coming in midweek. These are general readings, guys, so they're going to apply in different ways for different ones of you. Okay, your next card here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have Ace of Spades. So I'm not sorry, not, not not Spades clubs. I mixed that up the other week. I was reading it as a as a as a club because it was a club, but I kept saying Spade, and someone like had a really hard time in the comments. So sometimes if I have a slip of the tongue, guys, please understand. <laughs> I do a lot of readings back to back. I get tired. My tongue gets tied. Please be understanding of that. But we have here Ace of Clubs coming up for you in the um, end of the week. And so this is a new opportunity. And what did I say? I said some of you are going to have some kind of a promotion or something extended your way. And Ace of Clubs or Ace of Wands would really indicate that. It's like something is being presented for you or something is being presented to you. Uh, Sagittarius, some of you are beginning some kind of a project understand and know that you're going to get back from it what you put in that's one of the messages with ace of uh, wands or ace of clubs is it's letting you know 
where this goes and what happens depends on what you put into it. And I think what's happening with that five of pentacles is a lot of you are that in the beginning of the week, you know, with all of this together, a lot of you are making a decision at the end of the week to like invest in yourself or do something for yourself. So I just really feel there's this there's this there's this energy of like stepping into uh, the driver's seat stepping into like taking the reins taking control of your life and what you want to do and what's important for you and like your goals I'm going to be honest with you it almost feels like you're in this energy where you're like to hell with everybody else right even if it's a work situation like you're going up and 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 you're going for that promotion like nobody's gonna get in my way I'm gonna get it I'm not gonna feel bad about it right like like some of you are like whatever it takes I'm gonna do it to, to just kind of like you know get 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 ahead right do it in an ethical way please you know do it in an ethical way but I feel Sagittarius like you're just you're you're so all about you right now like you're just all about you what you need what you need to do like you're just in this energy where you're like I don't want to depend on anybody else I don't want to be you know feeling like I have to look to anybody else for anything and a lot of you ha are really thinking about the future where your life is going like you know years down the line you're like I want to be confident I want to be comfortable I want to have money saved in case you know something happens I want to have money saved for my future like you're thinking about those long-term kinds of things the one piece of advice I want to give you Sagittarius is stop telling yourself you're behind because spirit is saying some of you are saying it's too late or I should have started a long time ago or um, I'm, I'm, I'm so behind I'm never going to be where I'm supposed to be and spirit is giving me the visual of like if any of you drive I don't know if you've ever have at least in Los Angeles traffic it happens a lot of the times where if you're driving on the freeway or even the residential streets there'll be some car that's like in a rush and they'll get mad and they'll cut you off and they'll speed ahead and then a couple of minutes later you're right up next to them at that light or the traffic slows down ahead and you're right up next to them in the next lane in the freeway and they thought they were being all fast and they thought they were getting all ahead and you're like nope we got here at the same time you know so uh that can be with the financial situation as well don't look at other people saying oh they got ahead of me they got ahead of me the flow will flow in a way where you will be where you're meant to be like you you will end up where you need to be you will have what you need so stop getting it out of your head you know or start getting it out of your head that oh I should have started before or oh it's too late you know it's the same thing like that person driving in the traffic cutting everybody off speeding ahead and then they look over and you're next to them you're like oh who's who's the, who's the turtle we ended up at the same place at the same time you know so let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, angel message for the week my darlings and see what's coming up for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Be sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign videos too because some weeks those may resonate with you more than others. They might be more helpful for you more than others. Um, or it just might bring a little extra uh, tidbits of information. So your angel message for the week, my dears, is Goddess of the Earth. So what we have here, an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. So we know that you guys are kind of focused or you're kind of concerned about finances. So there may be some idea that's coming your way for some of you that's going to um, allow you to uh, think of a way where you're going to be able to make money or bring in some extra finances for yourself in the coming weeks and months but if you're feeling trapped if you're feeling stuck whatever it is this card is letting you know the solution is going to come to you the solution is going to come to you as you're just kind of relaxing and letting yourself like be grounded one of the things that always sticks um out to me in this card is how she's up against the tree and she's naked and to me, that kind of gives me a sense of like a symbolism of like vulnerability. Like you might be feeling like you really don't have anything, like you don't have anything to go on or or the cover's blown or like whatever. But in that natural state, you're going to start feeling comfortable with yourself. You're going to start feeling comfortable with your skin. You're going to be in that natural flow and you're going to see what you do have within yourself 
like your your gifts, your talents, your abilities that you're going to be able to make work for you. Okay, and you're going to be able to come up with solutions and ideas of moving forward. So um, I think also this card is coming up a lot of the time when you're being encouraged to try to spend time in nature. Now, I know depending on what part of the world you live in, it might be really cold right now. Maybe it's not super comfortable to spend a lot of times outside. But if you are able to get outside and be near, near, near trees or plants or even animals um, or even incorporate or bring some of that into your home, have more plants or things around you, it can be very, very helpful um, because there's there's a very healing element with nature. It's hard to be pissed off when you're next to a tree or sitting under a tree. <laughs> I, I, that's something I've experienced from my own personal experiences. It's hard to be angry when you're, when you're just under a nice, beautiful tree or next to a nice, beautiful tree. Um, but, you know, and I'm not saying you all, you all are angry, but it's just, it, there's a very just calming, soothing, grounding effect. And so anything that you can do to connect with nature this week can be helpful for you. Whatever is in your ability, right? You might have certain limitations, but whatever is in your ability could be helpful to try to bring elements of nature um, into, into your life. If you can't be in nature, but if you have a way of incorporating, you know, eating more uh, vegetables, more, um, you know, just things that have roots like carrots, beets, uh, root vegetables, uh, that can also be very grounding and very helpful as, as, as well. But it's just kind of connecting and grounding with that energy. All right, my darlings, uh, be sure to watch your moon and rising. Like I said, check out the channeled messages for December. I will have those linked in the description. I will have the love videos for December linked in the description as well. And as always, if you want to know which decks I used, those will also be listed um, in the description. Private readings are still on hold. I'm still getting emails from people asking me, oh, can I book a reading? Can I book a reading? And I'm trying to respond to everybody. Um, guys, I'm still trying to work on the 2020 forecasts. I'm still playing catch up there with that. But hopefully by around the 15th, give or take a few days, the calendar will be up, okay? Um, and the calendar will be up and you guys will be able to schedule uh, readings then. And I will let you all know when that happens. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a wonderful week, my dears.